Welcome back to Matty Ice Reviews. And tonight, guys, we continue our look at soft drinks and other drinks that are interesting, unique, and have weird quirks to them. I found this new brand that I've never heard of called, it's like K-I-U-T or something. Uh, or K-I-T-U, Kitu, I don't know. But it's called the Super Cold Brew and it's got caffeine and lithine, whatever that is. It says it's got zero grams of added sugar, it's dairy free, and there's 250 milligrams of caffeine in here. Holy cabooses, that is a ton. It says it's both bold and smooth while being unsweetened and black, and it only has 20 calories in this 11 fluid ounce can. That's pretty good. I mean, if you're looking for a nice kick in the morning out of a little can of coffee, that's the way to go. Okay, it says that this uh, started in our little brother's dorm room. Then they were tired of unhealthy energy drinks, so they removed the negatives and added only positives. Because of the change of energy, we can change our world. And it says that's the kit you life. Okay, Jordan, fake and or Jordan, Jake, and Jimmy. I think it looks like is the name of the people who invented it. Two hundred fifty milligrams is about two and a half cups of coffee. So yeah, that's a decent amount. And then um, nothing artificial in here. Very cool. What are the nutrition facts? 20 calories, and other than that, it says it's got three grams of carbs, 80 milligrams of sodium, and two grams of protein. There's not much in here. Okay. What are the ingredients? Cold brewed coffee, lethanine, whatever that is, organic green coffee, caffeine. Okay, very short list. And it says it's from New York, New York. Now it does say that this is vegan, gluten-free, and keto-friendly, and dairy-free. This is kind of an interesting drink. It's hitting a lot of those buzzy kind of diets that are out there and catering to people who have, you know, all these allergies or sensitivities to different food types. So let's uh, crack her open. It is a, you know, just a can, so we'll pop the top. Okay, no hiss whatsoever. I am gonna pour this one out though because I wanna see what it looks like internally. So as is customary, let's get our little shot glass and pour some in there. Okay, very dark in color. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, that smells strong. Oh my God. That smells like coffee that's been on the entire day. That's how strong it smells. And like burned almost. Okay, let's give it a, let's give it a taste. Oh man, that's got a pop to it. That is exceptionally dark. It's bold. Um, I don't know about smooth, but it's definitely bold. Oh my God, is that bitter? Holy Toledo. Oh, I like bitter coffee. But even that's bitter for me, my God. That is terribly bitter, terribly dark. And it's, it's got that, I've cooked my coffee for you know 12 hours accidentally kind of flavor to it, not cold brew. I don't know what type of coffee they're putting in there, but it does not taste good. Maybe it's one of those other ingredients they listed like lithanine, whatever that is, it's making it so bitter, but I don't know how anyone could consider that a smooth coffee. It's bold, it's dark, and it's bitter. Just call it what it is. Smooth ain't one of those features. All right, guys, I think this is highly disappointing. I do not like the flavor at all. It could use a little cream to help cut some of that uh, you know, bitterness that it's got and almost sourness, but I would really skip this one. I don't think it's worth trying. I don't think it's worth picking up over other brands that are out there. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. We'll catch you next time. Have a good night.